Today I'm going to talk to you about five of my favorite keyboard shortcuts in Trial Director. So last week I made a video about some presentation tips and ways that you can make yourself look better in Trial Director. And someone had mentioned in the comments, what are my favorite keyboard shortcuts since I mentioned that I am a heavy keyboard shortcut user. So here they are kind of in the order that I use them most frequently, uh, keyboard shortcuts that I use all the time in Trial Director. First, let's go over to uh, uh, the demo case file that I'd started building last week with some JTX exhibits, and we'll go into the presentation preview. I'm gonna work from here because it's easier for me to film it this way, uh, but you can do all the same things and all the same keyboard shortcuts on the secondary jury screen if you need to do that. Drag and drop JTX 17, uh, page 18 I think this is, page eight, into the presentation when you'll take a look at it. The default zoom tool that you get when you drop an exhibit in is the call out tool. If you don't have it automatically selected for you, just come down here. It's one of the default tools that's in the toolbar. I'm gonna call out this paragraph. And once I have it up, the next thing that I usually need to do right away is to highlight something. And so you can come and select the highlight tool down at the toolbar at the bottom, or you can hit Alt H. That is a keyboard shortcut that I use all the time. And then we could talk about this first, uh, part of this paragraph, and maybe there's only a couple of these things that are relevant to this particular litigation, so I can highlight a couple of batches of sections relatively quickly. So Alt-H is something that I really like to use. That's my most favorite keyboard shortcut. I use that all the time. The second keyboard shortcut that I use all the time, it's kind of a keyboard shortcut, it does involve the mouse, but if you hold down Shift, I can then right click on the things that I want to delete. So if I'm going through and I've talked about this section, or maybe I made an error in terms of what I wanna highlight, I can hit shift and right click and then delete whatever I'm clicking on. Then the nice thing is by using shift right click versus going and selecting like the deleter tool or the remover tool I think it's called, is it leaves me on the highlighter tool. So now I can go and let's say we're done talking about the first sentence and now we can talk about uh, the second sentence or maybe a second clause in a larger paragraph. So I have that there. So it lets me delete things or remove things and then keep working with the tool that I was already working with. So that I think speeds me up quite a bit and also lets me move faster because then I know if I made a mistake, I can quickly just delete it, shift right click, and then get back and use the same tool again. So those are two of the most used keyboard shortcuts for me. Uh, the next thing that I use, and let's go ahead and clear all these out, shift and right click to do that. The next thing I use a lot is kind of a keyboard. It's actually not a keyboard shortcut at all, but maybe we'll count it as a bonus. Uh, it's just to hold down the right click on your mouse. So let's say I have this call out and we're looking at it and it says in another embodiment, the invention provides methods of administrating granulated. Now last week I showed you, you can always extend that by coming to this lower right hand corner and extending it. But let's say you don't wanna do that. Let's say you just wanna get the next line or keep the dimensions of that call out so you could see where it is on the page behind it. I can shift and right click and scroll up. So that's really useful if you've called out like the end of a paragraph and then you wanna to get to the carryover paragraph on the next page. So that's a nice way to do that. You can scroll up that way. Shift right click does that for you. Let's say that I minimize this call out and instead I'm going to fit to width right? I can still use shift right click to scroll down even further. So it's really helpful in terms of you've zoomed in on something, you've made something either fit to width or you've zoomed it in. And now you can shift right click to scroll down in case you need to get around the page. And so being able to shift right click and just drag much faster. I feel like I have more control. I never have to wait for it. That's one of my favorite things. It's not really a keyboard shortcut, so I'll add it in as a bonus. But the next thing that we're going to talk about is a keyboard shortcut, and that is control Z. So control Z is something that you're probably used to as a keyboard shortcut if you're used to working with uh, Microsoft Office products. Uh, it works the same way in Trial Director. The nice thing about it is it's not just related to highlights or annotations that you've added. So let's say I add a circle here and I want to put it here, but that's not where I want to put it. Instead of hitting shift right click to delete it, because sometimes lines and circles are hard to get because you have to get it directly on the line. You can hit control Z and undo something, All right? So that's nice. What's even nicer is that it remembers several spots back. So I can keep hitting control Z and not only does it remember what annotations I made, it remembers where I was on a page. So if I need to go back to a specific paragraph, 
or a couple paragraphs ago, let's say an attorney wants to go back during the middle of an exam without letting anyone else know ahead of time, we can keep doing that. And so we can keep hitting control Z and control Z and control Z. It remembers the things that you've called out. It remembers whether you were at fit to width or fit to height. So it remembers tons of steps back. I'm not sure how far back it goes, but it goes further back than you probably need. So control Z is a way that I like to undo and go back a couple of steps if I ever need to do that. And because it seems to remember what you did before, it happens really quickly. So it's a nice, fast way of getting back something that you had up just a little while ago. And if it was a couple of steps ago, just hit control Z, control Z, control Z a couple of times and it'll get there pretty quick. So let's clear that by doing this and scroll it. So we're looking at just the page. All right, the next thing that we'll look at, we're in this JTX Exhibit 17. It's like 900 and something pages long. The fastest way to get around is my fourth favorite keyboard shortcut, and that is to hit Control G and then just type in the page number. So let's say I need to go to page 459, 459, enter, and there I am, I'm on page 459 of this JTX exhibit. If I wanna go back to page 111, Control G, 111, enter, and there I am. This is why the number pad is really, really helpful because then you use Control G, type in the numbers, and you're getting through an exhibit super fast. And so that's one way that I like to get through a large exhibit really quickly. Even if I'm just going a couple of pages ahead, the attorney usually has to say for the sake of the record and so for opposing counsel to know what page they're going to, they could say kind of the next page. If they do that, just hit page down. That's a little bonus too. But if they wanna go like three pages ahead and they're now they're at page 457, Control G, 457, enter, and you're there. It takes you there really quick. That way you don't have to come over here on the left-hand side open this down so you can see all the pages and scroll to get there. You can just control G and type in the page number once you're already in the exhibit. So control G is a really fast way for me to get around a very large exhibit quickly. Now the last thing I'll talk about then is the escape button. And that's a really simple one. That's how you can clear an exhibit really quickly. Let's say I have it up, let's go back up to when we have it to a point with some call outs. Let's say we're talking about it like this and we're gonna talk about it for a while. Uh, I'll still sit with my finger kind of over the escape button because let's say we've got this up here and ideally anything that's objectionable, things that shouldn't be shown to the jury would have been taken care of and redacted before they got to you, the hot seater, but sometimes they don't. Sometimes we only see it once something is big and blown up and published to the jury. If that happens and someone jumps up and makes an objection, I hit the escape button really quick and it clears it. Uh, that's the fastest way to clear it. You can hit clear preview. You can hit clear presentation. Those are other ways to do it as well. I always just like to hit escape and get rid of it that way. Then if it turns out, you know what, this is okay. We can put it back up there, objection overruled, hit control Z and it comes back up. So that's how I use these keyboard shortcuts kind of in conjunction. But escape is it a really important one for me because that's something that I can use to, let's say I did put something up that wasn't supposed to be shown to a jury through no fault of my own, uh, but just because there was something in there that we didn't realize. To the extent that there's any harm done, it's de minimis. Hopefully I've done it fast enough that no one even noticed besides maybe the opposing counsel uh, or maybe me. And so that's kind of how I uh, like to work with it that way. Uh, there has been some other case law indicating that sometimes when an exhibit has been published and is objectionable because the hot seater left it up during the sidebar when the attorneys and the judge left the bench to go do the sidebar and it was there for the jurors to kind of look at and stare at when they had nothing else to do that kind of made things worse not that that's what made it error but like that what made it worse and so i always because of that hit the escape uh, button and have it kind of on the ready so then escape and then i kind of once i'm with an exhibit, I kind of move my hand over here because that the Alt H is something or the Control G is something that I'm using quite a bit. So that's kind of how my hand tends to sit. And then if I need to type in numbers, then my right hand comes over. So that's kind of how I'm working uh, most of the time when I'm in trial director and trying to move quickly. So those are my five favorite keyboard shortcuts. Uh, I know that there's a whole bunch of them out there that a lot of you probably use. If there's something that is not on my list but is high on yours, let me know. I'd love to know about it because I feel like you can tell a lot about a person and their presentation style based on the keyboard shortcuts that they like to use the most. And so I'd love to kind of see that and see what the different responses are. That would be awesome if you guys could put that into the comments. Or if you just have any questions about anything I've gone over or trial director in general, I'd be happy to talk to you guys down there and answer any questions that you might have. Uh, thanks so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.